you know, a lot of this is happening so far away and it can almost make us feel helpless. But more and more, Carrie, we're seeing communities pull together to help in some very unique ways. And a local interior designer tells our Alexandra Cohen about the art community's connection to the crisis and a way that you can help. Beautiful, it's like very textured. Vintage art like this warms a home. This one just like broke my heart because it has a, a little child and a mom. After getting the latest shipment from her art dealer, Pablo, interior designer Stephanie Sabi realized these original paintings came from Kiev, Ukraine. And then I got online and was like, where are you? And then I looked up his profile and was like, are you like, are you OK? Are you alive? And it took him two days to reply. And it just gets you thinking of like, how life can change. You know, he was just an art dealer. You know, now he's wrote that he's like literally running for his life. So it's awful. I make myself cry. <laughs> this Soviet art is hanging in the home she designed across the country. I just think it's really neat that this art painted in the 70s from the Ukraine has been transformed into meaningful pieces for all these clients. And now they're going to have this other layer of meaning behind them. She hopes artists will find a way to survive and that their work won't be destroyed. But it's just beautiful work and I'm not, you know, big on like knowing everything about pieces of art because I do a lot of like honestly like flea marketing and like dumpster diving for things like that, but obviously this is gorgeous and he's been such like such a good resource for us the past two years. So it just breaks my heart that Someone we've worked with is having to live through something like what they are. Stephanie's work relationship with Pablo is now a friendship, a silver lining to the war that's brought so much destruction. It makes all of it seem more personal, you know, like it's a, it was a war between two people that had no relation to me and now it does. And it's just, yeah, it just makes the whole thing seem even more like, why can't somebody just push stop on this? Reporting in Bell Mead, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.